G'day guys, my name's Josh. You can call me Ja Woodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die in Alpha 19 where we are back somehow to continue the Extinction series into Day 36. Oh, I don't know how we're here. I'm filming this straight after somehow narrowly surviving the Hornet last night. I just kind of had the realization I was very loud last night with a whole lot of shotgun shooting. So there's probably going to be like a streamer cruise around here somewhere. You just never know. But I need to do several things straight off the bat. If you missed yesterday, I don't know what you were doing. Go back and watch it to make all of this make sense and realize why my base is completely different now. I need to sort that out pretty toot sweet. But I also need to go and drop off all this stuff, I'm gonna just drop it in here for the moment, I suppose. I mean, I need to sort out this storage stuff. I need to sort out what's going on here because I need to pick up all this stuff. I need to fix up my base again. I need to go and raid that shotgun messiah joint again and hopefully find an even better shotgun than the one I've currently got. There is so much to do today and just so little time. But the first thing I need to do is wade balls deep through this little puddle, this bathtub of loot here. What have you got for me? I've got my loot and goggles on. Yep, we're good. Okay, dropped loot. What have you got? Shotgun rounds and money. Fair enough. If one of these things wants to give me some weapons or something, or a book I've already read, thank you very much. Wants to give me like a weapon or something, I'd be very appreciative. What's my game stage now, actually? Game stage 100. I'm level 50, game stage 100. I am about to be in a whole lot of trouble. A whole lot of trouble. I was in more trouble last night though. Not sure how I got through. A helmet and some knucks, some more ammo. Some more ammo again. Lots of ammo in these things. Lots and lots of ammo. I mean, I never really felt the pressure to make... Uh, oh, a treasure map. Taylor's treasure map, even. Where are you going to send me, Taza? Where are you going to send me? Good luck from Taylor. Fair enough. No whackers. Where are you going to send me out to to go dig up and find some good stuff? 600 meters. Right next to Trady Potato. That is very, very generous of you. Thank you for sending me somewhere actually useful. Another book I've already read. Come on. Give me something that's actually good. Give me something that's actually worthwhile. I don't need another bears challenge. I'll take the ammo and the bats. Some iron. Not getting much. Really not getting much. XP gogs. The same as what I've already got though. Some steroids as well. More ammo. Well, lucky last. Come on, reach in there and grab it. Mining helmet with a mod in it. A cowboy hat. Throw that away. Take that. Oh, well. I, I would argue that probably wasn't worth it. I, I mean, after everything I went through last night to get to this point, I'd say that it probably wasn't the most worthwhile thing I've ever, ever done. For God's sake, why did you fall off? Why did you fall off from there? How did you just suddenly forget how to jump? Use your bloody spaghetti legs. There you go. Congratulations. You. Turn off. It is sort of a generator or something. You still sound like you're on, but you are off. God, there's so much work to be done. There's so much work to be done and only a week to do it in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly grab my bike and just go down and load all of this stuff. We came so close to losing everything. Look at that. I had, what? I went through half of my supply of shotgun rounds last night. Just like that. Okay, grab all of you. Put you into there. Thank you. I need to get all the stuff out of my horde base as well, actually. Just quickly grab this. Spin it around. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think what I'm going to do today, I'm going to quickly get everything loaded up and get my workbench crafting some more cobblestone for me, given how much of that I'm going to need going forward. Grab all of that out of there. Oh, there's a sneaky loot bag up here that I missed last time. Some forged iron. In fact, it was there. Let's just stick across there. Up and up. Was there any more loot bags over here? I don't think so. Nope, all looking pretty good. All said and done, though. The base worked out pretty bloody well. It really did. It could have gone so much worse, but just as like a basic skeleton, we managed to get it done. I was right on the brink of death every minute of that night, but we managed to get through it. Grab the ladder with your schnoz. Good job. Let's go load everything in and just kind of get our base sorted out before we head out for the day. Oh, just because you came so close to death one night doesn't mean you have to stop and smell the roses and appreciate the fact that you're still drawing breath. Everything in the dump chest. Still got lots of things in there from all well, my last adventure, but that's okay. That's why I have the dump chest. So I can sort it all out later. In fact, I'm not even going to have the space for it anymore. Ammo pile to put everything in there for the moments. I'm going to dump all the ammo in that one chest just so I can deal with whatever I have left over. Grab all of that. Just a bunch of ammo and my tools, which I will very much need. Uh, go like that. Okay. You guys, get out of my slots in my normal loadout, please. I'm going to need that shovel as well, because I do need to go and... Oh, God, I'm completely full. My ammo box is completely full. Shit. Okay, well, I'll put the rest of you guys in there, I suppose. I can put my wire tool into that one, and you can take all of that. Like that. Okay. What am I missing? I'm missing shotgun shells. I'll grab uh, half a sack of shotgun shells. There we go. That's my normal loadout. All set up and done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good, good, good. Okay. Need some first aid bandages. I'm a little bit stacked on it right now. Like that. Good. 
I need to take half a stack of painkillers so I can find some on the journey. Knife, tools. Okay, we're all good there. I should want Oh, my compound bow. Are you in here? I know I left you somewhere. I don't remember where, though. There you are. Okay, grab you as well. <sighs> right, now we're going to take a moment to just appreciate the fact that we're still here. We can start the day fresh as a daisy all over again. Uh, let's grab quickly nom on some of you. In fact, I'll take all of you and bang you into my already chocolate block food box, actually. God, I have a lot. I have so much food. I'm, I'm definitely... I'm going to be the fattest fuck in the wasteland. You watch. Looking at it from here, I think what I need to do is probably just, like, expand the, um, the base of it out to, like, the road. Build some pillars for support out the back so it's not all reliant on that one central column. That would probably be the, the first step of that. Need to get all my cement and stuff again and go through and make all of that concrete again. Uh, the turret up the top is fine. I would like to make myself another turret, though. What, what was I short on of that? I think it was steel, wasn't it? How are we looking in here? Got a little bit in there. Can I quickly go like this and make some more? Minute 20, minute 40, that'll do. Uh, and we'll put the flagstone blocks away. I'll come back and do that later. Because I really do want to quickly go and raid. Now that I'm, I'm game stage 100 as well, with the loot and candy and my loot and goggles, that should put me up above into like the next tier of loot. I very much hope so anyway. Which might get me a slightly better auto shotgun. And given that it was so useful to me last night, it would be sacrilegious of me to throw it away. So I'm going to keep it with me. Okay, new day, Josh. New time. Let's go get it done. Let's go on our adventure. In fact, am I even wearing the right goggles? Yes, I am. Let's keep the XP goggles on us for the moment, though. Let's go get ours. I just realized, rather stupidly, I came all this way. I'm all the way into, like, the next town, and I didn't even bring myself any money or the looting candy. Oh, there's, like, an elk over there. So what I might do, first of all, is I might go quickly grab that buried treasure, because that will probably, hopefully, have some money in it. Uh, but more importantly, it might have the, oh, I get the money and hopefully find a vending machine that will sell me some candy. Yes, I could go. I'll oh, just go all the way home. Go just go all the way home. I mean, I've got. It's not far off. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Get it together. Just go home and get it. Stop being a lazy piece of shit. You have the, the rundering, thunderous, vibrating roar of dead dinosaurs between your loins. Just head on back home, grab the loot and candy, and grab the money. It's not too much to ask. Yes, you should have done it the first time. This is the idiot tax. You're now in the idiot tax on time. You were a Muppet. You were a Galar. So now you have to pay for that by wasting all this time going back home and doing it again. That's fine, just means you have to make up the time at night time when the zombies are more dangerous. That's the price you pay. $2,000 dues. I'll take all of the eye candy because there's never going to be a time where I don't need it. I'm going to leave all of that in my bike downstairs. Go here. In fact, I'll just keep you on me for now. I mean, I know that I'm going to need you anyway. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. Low, like that. There we go. Okay. We're good. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. I'm just trying to think about what I'm going to do with that base. Like, I've got, the, I've got plenty of materials. Kind of, I've got plenty of stone now so I can make myself some sand to make myself the concrete. So that's not a massive issue. I'm just nervous about building something wrong again. I upgraded that one bloody block of flagstone and collapsed my world. So I need to make sure it's well supported. For some reason, there might be something like going on with, like, upgrading blocks. In fact, even in... Uh, what episode was I think it was like in the easy horde bases episode where I was like you know, building like the easy horde bases to start with I upgraded the block in that and my horde base exploded there too So there might be there might be a glitch every now and again between upgrading a block uh, An existing block especially when well, there's zombies around that's fine. I don't know I don't know what happened, but it ruined the structural integrity and completely boned me So there might be something going on there or there's nothing wrong with it and I'm just an idiot I mean, I'd like to have an excuse. I'd like there to be a reason that I'm such a mup. But you can't have it all the time. All right, here we go. Treasure first. I might even just blow... Might even just blow an eye candy just on the treasure. Because why not? I like treasure. It might give me something worthwhile. Actually, no, that's silly. I've just got the loot and gogs. That'll be enough. But first of all, we've got to find it. There's the yellow marker on that side. So we'll go back the other way. It has been shrinking as I've been going. So it shouldn't be actually too far away. I uh, just need to find the other side of this. Where is it? Should be... Oh, there it is. Okay, it's shrinking back this way. So it might be right in the middle here. Just pick a direction and start digging. You'll stumble across it sooner rather than later. There we go. There we go. The tier six shovels just gobbling it up for breakfast. You'll love to see it. There's the yellow. Go back this way. It's getting closer again. That's coming in. That's coming in. That's coming in. Must be over this side. We're coming. We're getting closer. There it is. Okay, well, you are locked. I don't have any lockpicks on me right now, but I do have lockpicking ammo. Now, this is what I wanted to see. Okay, so how much health do you start out with? You have 7,000. I took 200 off. So, let's go 
Did that even hit it? I don't know. Let's hit it again. It did, but only for 200. I think I missed most of it, actually. Let's kind of open up this area just a little bit. What did I use? No, I did use the right ammo. Okay. There we go. How much you got now? 6,300? Um, excuse you. You're supposed to be like... Okay, that's just wasting all of my ammo. How are you so bloody strong? Why is this so good against other things, but apparently against this one it doesn't work? You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get my bloody lockpicks. If you're not gonna respond to bloody breaching ammo, then I'm kinda shit out of luck. And that is why you leave lockpicks in your bike, just in case. Because apparently some things don't respond very well to getting shot in the face. I would've thought given I can open a bloody gun safe in about two seconds flat with that breaching ammo that a bloody treasure cache would be about the same. It must be like a different, a different block in the game that doesn't respond as well to uh, breaching ammo. But there we go, we're now in. Let's just crack it open, what have you got for me? It gave me back the breaching ammo. I see like, it knows it fucked up. It knows it did wrong, so it's giving me back the ammo it took from me. Flaming crossbow bolts, I'll just scrap those, because I mean, I know I could use them, but there's an extra mod slot I just don't have the time for right now. Six and a half thousand dollar redos, and a bandolier mod. All right, fair whackers, old mate knackers. Let's go see Trader Potato, and see if we can buy myself some more looting candy, then head off on over to the Shotgun Messiah. There's good loot to be gotten there, and ones that actually can be opened by shooting. It sounds weird, I know, but hey, I made that breaching over for a reason. I want to keep using it. Nah, no loot and candy. Please don't tell me I'm going to go like six days again before I find any more. That was my main hesitation in using the loot and candy for the treasure chest because I just don't know when I'll find it again. There's not a particularly high amount of it floating around. So delving into my little secret stash of loot and candy purely just to... Ooh. Ooh. Do you reckon I've got time? If I, if I clear all of the shotgun messiah poi first and then come over here do you reckon i've got time to double dip i'm not sure if i'm going to it's a pretty big effort especially given that like i've still got to like tunnel down into gracie's pen but it's worth a shot i think it's worth a gander it's worth a shake of the sauce bottle what have you got for me you've got salmon you've got covert cash you've got nothing also i'm pretty bloody hungry i just realized well, i'll take the beef ration i'll also take Take the chicken soup as well and the can of salmon and i'll take the two cans of chili too why not i need some food i'm pretty bloody hungry i was so wrapped up in trying not to die last night i forgot to actually refuel before i rearmed check this one as always some more red tea which i'm kind of thirsty so i'll take them jump back on the bike yesterday as well when i was on my adventure i did knock out this little bit of railing here so i can just cruise on through like that make it a bit easier ah there we go there's some eye candy not much health. All right, no whackers. I probably should buy some of those health bars as well. Given they give you like instant health, probably not a bad idea, especially last night when I kept getting punched in the nose through my little killing window. Probably not a bad idea to have some of those just in case the worst happens. Slide on around there, pull up out the front. What's inside you? Sugar butts. I've got plenty of sugar butts. I've got a full stack of 10 sugar butts and then some more back home. So I don't need to take any extras right now. They seem to be much more plentiful than the eye candy. What about you? You got anything for me? Nope. Once again, you're still letting me down. All right. Whatever though. It's led me to where I wanted to be. Here we go. We're back here once again. Let's raid this place, but not actually raid it. We'll do all of that in one go later on with the looting candy to hopefully hit Grace's pen as well. Well, seeing as I'm not doing any raiding right now, I'll put the XP goggles on. There is still like some raiding to be done. Like this first room has a couple of cheeky deeky things, but most of the big dollar, like the big high ticket items, big dollar ticket items, whatever that expression actually is, are like the gun safes, the shotgun messiah books, all of like the retail environment at the front and the big stash at the back. There's a couple of ammo piles here and there I'll probably grab on the way through. But that's all right, that's for later. Tier four, clear quest. Let's get this done. Let's load the correct ammo into my shotgun, if you don't mind. There we go. What up, everybody? Let's get this rockin' and rollin'. Oh, that's a feral boy, but that's okay. I'll set you on fire. You spent several good nights with Arlene, didn't you? Was it worth it? Was it worth it with all that burning in your loins? God, I mean, my gooch gets sweaty sometimes, but you have clearly got a burnier gooch than I do. Uh, water cool. I'll take you while I'm here. Why not? All about... Oh, in fact, you know what? You know what I didn't even do? I got so many skill points last night in the hall that I didn't even pay attention to it. I can go the next, I can go a level of Lucky Loot out right off the bat. I think that's going to be the right way to go. Because I'm pretty sure I do have tier 4 Lucky Loot. Uh, lucky loot uh. It's going to take lots more skill points to get up to better. Uh, better battle is what I was supposed to be talking about. I'm not sure if I misspoke or not. One, two, and then 
three. There we go. So we finally have that secret stash. And more importantly, if I swap me gogs over, swap the old gogs, then I now have uh, the normal secret stash as well. So I get the secret stash and the super secret stash, which is going to be a lovely time. But I can deal with that when I get there. Uh, you are locked from me, which is ridiculous because let's be honest, it doesn't take much to get inside. You are currently locked, though you're about to not be. So, okay, let's figure this out. It was, what, four four shots with the, the breaching ammo to open a gun safe. So, one, two, three. And then real quick, I just want to see. Oh, no, it opened up in three. Okay, I thought it was four, but I guess not. No whackers, mate. I wanted to make sure I wasn't wasting one of those shots. And maybe I could have just, like, like, punched it open or swung with a pickaxe and saved myself one of those rounds, given they are so valuable. But we'll test it with the next one, I suppose. There's a bookcase here, and I don't think I've ever actually noticed that before. I might have missed that bookcase every time I've come through, but now I know for next time, at the very least, make sure you're loaded with the right shotgun shells again. I really love the color scheme of the um of the auto shoddy. Like the purple band on the black weapon looks so bloody cool. I don't think I'd like it even more. If it was full purple with black bands, I don't think I'd like it anymore. <laughs> Still murders all the same anyway. Any of you guys ferals? No, you're not. No whackers. Put you down. Put you down. Oh, man, my loadout is so good. My loadout is so fun right now. I've searched all the freezers because, I mean, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for all the firearm stuff, of which there is a lot this time. One, two, three, four, five. Once I've got a fish log. So five things on the wall and one on this. Oh, maybe only six. That seems about right, actually. This seems about normal. Check all of these. In fact, can I go? Can I break you for polymers? No, you just give me iron. I do need iron, but I wanted the polymers off the shelf. Nope, not much else here. Okay, no whackers. Let's get outside to where all the zombies roam. How you doing, everybody? I'm at the firing range. I'm ready with the shotgun. What have we got? We've got one feral, I think. Oh, got two feral. Got a feral Nance as well, which is... Oh, two feral Nances, which is fine with me. That's what the shotguns are for. Oh, he dodged really well. Shoot you in the hits, and again, and the noggin. You just look like a normal Muppet. If you're just a normal Muppet, I'm fine to kill you with the clubby boy. It's just the ferals I worry about. Let's not bust out the big boomstick. I'll leave the loot there for later me to come and get. Uh, check the eskies in case there's some froths. No, but there is some pure mineral water, which would be good for my digestive efficiency. Lower that bloody metabolism just a little bit so I can like hold on to my food a little bit longer. Don't need you. I don't need... Whoa. I can't even use the bandage in an empty jar, throw the bandage, throw away the brass. I'll keep the iron because I need it. And the polymers. Got a double storage pocket mod as well. I'm not thirsty. I'm a little bit hungry. I might just drink these anyway just because I can. Although I'm pretty bloody like, full up on that anyway. I might save the rest of it. Okay. Well, no time like the present. Last time I came here, it was a bit of an endeavor. This one's going to be about the same. XP gogs on. What up, everybody? Let's get rocking and rolling. Let's get pumping. Oh, with a fat hop. Straight off the bat. He says I'm about to have a heart attack. I want the XP, though. No, blasted out. I got hurt a bit to get the XP. It was worth it. All right, they're starting to swarm. They're starting to swarm a little bit. Boom, put you down. You can all come into the nice file line. There you go. Everyone come. Oh, there's a, there's a, a rad something in there. That's what I'll do when it gets there, though. Oh, it's... Oh, God. Oh, God, there's a rad zombie. He's flying through the fucking air. Apparently been ready and it gives you fucking wings. He's drinking green-flavored Red Bull. Come on, jump, buddy. Jump, buddy. Oh, I missed him. Damn it. Uh, I'm a little hurt. A little hurt. Quick, I just grab a bandage and get myself sorted out. Wow, this is like a this is like a whole thing at later game stage. Hey, no whole of range on the auto shotgun. We'll have to deal with it anyway. Okay, the ram has gone out. Oh, that guy come up and just licked my shotgun. It was fan-freaking-tastic. You die, please? Jesus Christ, you're taking a pounding. And not in a good way. Not in the way that I would enjoy. Not in the way the big toothpaste mama does. Okay, sneaky reload. Got 69. Nice. Ammo left. Don't you break those barrels. You'll all explode. I need you to not break anything for me. I need every ounce of XP out of this. Decapitate you. Decapitate both of you. You're both dead. Yep. And put you down too. Okay. Okay. We're starting to calm down just a little bit. Can I save myself some shotgun ammo? Because I feel like I'm going to need it. There's one Muppet left in here. Just a regular buzzer. Put you down and hit you again. Thank you. It helps doing this with a clear quest. You can see on the radar where they actually all are. Oh, there's a Mup. How you going? Oh, you're a feral. God, I thought all the ferals were done for. You should have come out much, much earlier, given how fast you can move. And a tubby toothpaste. You were the last one. Come on. Come down. Come down. There you go. Oh, didn't go goopy. Look at you with the athletic prowess. So admittedly, if I was rolling around with tree trunks the size of those thighs, I'd be pretty fucking stable on my feet too. There you go. Put you down and finish you off. And we are done. Just like that. Put loot and goggles back on again. Raid the gas barrels. Just make sure there's any gas I can find for my biker Rooney. 
Nice. Nice, Gary. Not the cleanest of little raids, but not the worst either. There's a lot of like random stuff in this place, actually. So while I'm here, I'm going to quickly run around. Why does the garbage give me paper now? Didn't it used to give me polymers? Maybe they patched it because like the polymers are too valuable now. People were using that to actually get some resources. You know, actually play in the game. You give me paper, I think. You do. Throw that one away. I'll keep the actual... um. Actually, no, because there is some garbage I want to loot too. Keep the uh, looting goggles on, drop down. Just any sort of like pallets and stuff. There we go. The boxes that give me polymers. Only two now. They're, I feel like they've definitely nerfed that. I feel like I definitely used to get more out of it. I'm not getting nearly as much as I used to. All right, that'll just about do it, I think. Let's open up these bad boys and get cracking. Hit you, hit you. So what do I have to do here? Let's actually make sure I've got a plan in mind. Hit all of this, get inside, grab all of the retail environment, grab the safe, the bookshelf, and the box upstairs, then bail and go and hit Grace's on the way. Which one was Grace's, actually? Um, Look, 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 think, think, think. Which one was it? I drive past every bloody day and every time I think, oh, I should go and stop there. And ah, there she blows. There she blows. That one there. Okay. We're pretty good, I think. Let's quickly go and uh, load up my breaching ammo. Okay. This time I am actually going to check this. Get the frames out of the way. So you start with 10,000 health. Gotcha. Ready? Boom. What are you now? So that took, uh, what, like 3,000? So uh, three, I think. What are you now? 2,800. And that should put you right on the cusp, yep, of a swift hit with this one. And that should open us up. Lovely. Save ourselves a breaching round. Just use the pickaxe instead. Still use the same amount of time. But I think that's probably a better way to do it. I'm full of random garbage. Don't throw that away. Um, I could probably throw away the wood, too. The gas would be useful. Uh, let's drink that one just to free up an extra inventory spot. Piss that shit off. All right, I think... I think we're just about good to go. Let's eat the eye candy. Let's rock and or roll. Hardened chest force and foremost. Boom. What have you got for me? A whole bunch of random stuff. I'll check all that out later. A uh, bat. It's more repair kits. Not bad. Some nux. Two different kinds of nux, actually. Gun store box. A, a tier 5 piece of shit. Triple storage pocket mod. What's in the ammo pile? Some more garbage. Okay. I'm strapped across my bolts because they're never really worth it for me anyway. Up and up. No, damn it. I cooked that. Up, up, up. Can I go up this way? Yes, I can. I make like a zombie and climb the bloody tree. What's in the zombie loot? Uh, I'll take all of you. If I don't want the candlestick, piss that off. I might actually have to, because I'm pretty much like full on inventory, quickly run outside and like fill up my bicycle, or my bicycle, my motorcycle with all the gubs. Boom, all of that in there, free up some space. I can scrap you actually on the fly. Come on, come on. No time like the present. Got the whole retail world to go and raid. What have you got for me? Check the wall first. Ooh, er 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 ergonomic grip mod. That's not terrible. Machete, I'll scrap you for parts. Gun rack. That whole gun rack had one machete in it. All right, cool. Uh, so on a shotgun mod and some ammo. Come on, come on. Make it worth my while. Make it worth my bloody while, you spatter. Scrap the uh, the arrows. I don't need them anyway. Nothing else really around here. Check this one. Wow. Wow, what an absolute kick in the teeth. This place has got nothing. Nothing at all. Has such high hopes. We've got high hopes, high in the pie, like apple pie. Uh, tier five, uh, okay, that's not bad. I'll scrap both of you though for the parts and free up some space. Let's quickly go modify, put you into there. Modify you as well, put you into there. Uh, what can I put the ergonomic grip on? Put you on there as well, actually. Modify you, put you there. Okay, there we go, free up some space that way. Always search the bookcase. Two things I've already read. Nice. What about this though? Oh, no, missed it. Oh, there you go, gun store box. More repair kits and more ammo. Not great, not terrible. Hopefully Grace has got some more stuff because that wasn't the best loot ever. Here we go. This is the joint. Still got two and a bit minutes to go looting this place. Not a whole lot of rush to be done. We'll just check out here. Put whatever I can in there. Um, What's still got some space in you? What can I put in? Okay, you and you can go into this. That's fine with me. Modify uh, you and that one. Thank you very much. What else you got in there? What else can I free up some space with? Not a lot of stuff. I can throw that away. Actually, put you in there. I can not do much else in here, actually. Eat you real quick and put you in there. What else is worthless to me? You're worth nothing. You're worth nothing. You're worth more. You're worth more. Scrap that for the iron. Uh, blunderbuss ammo. Not particularly worth it to me. So put you away. Put the mod in there. Put the iron away. All right. That's just going to have to do. That's more than enough space when we're about to go and raid. There's lots of stuff in here. Lots of piggly winks. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm here for the raid. I'm here for the loot, as I always bloody am. Down we go. Please be no one protecting it. No, nope, we're looking pretty good. But half-eaten zombies, that's disgusting. Are you locked? No, you're not. 
All right, we're in business. We're in some lovely, lovely business right now. Make sure the rock dogs are on. Yes, they are. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, first aid bandage. I do like getting those. I'll eat that corn because it's not worth much else to me. Shamo boxes continue to be a raging disappointment. And some Vegemite Sangers. What about you? Tier 4 Magnum, Tier 4 Knife. I'd like some better stuff, please. Pipe bombs and ammo, please. I'd like anything good. Wow. What a kick in the dick. Apparently, Grace has been down here not just like munging out and waiting for uh, hapless survivors to fall through the floor. She's also been eating all the good bloody loot. Haven't you, big green hog? Do I kill her? Do I kill her out of, like, out of vengeance? Oh, I wanted to. I wanted to. I want to put a, I want to put a bolt right between her eyes. Uh. Oh, get shit on. You're not dead, though. You're just kind of knocked out. Wait for it. Put, put one in both ends. I spit roasted the pig in the best way possible. Nobody. Nobody. Look, I'm happy to sit up here and pepper you with bolts all day freaking long. You can, like, hit up against that fence all you like. I'm still going to kill you. Boy, she is taking an absolute pounding both in the front and the back. Lots of jokes to be made, and they're all pretty bloody uh, distasteful, Josh. So let me keep your mind out of that gutter. Purell your brain like you're bloody the one half of Troy and our bed. Come on, there you go. There you go. Oh, oh, he jumped it. He jumped it. Fired a bolt into the ground. That's all right, though. He's hop skipping and jumping. How much health do you bloody have, mate? All right, I'm taking a different approach. I'm going a different approach to what I have been doing. I can't quite get through. He doesn't seem to want uh, to destroy the barricade at all. Still not dead. There you go. Take all my bolts back. Thank you very much. And I may as well, now that I'm here, quickly harvest you up. Been a while since I saw you, Gracie girl. God, you've been hungry, though. There are bodies everywhere down here. Waste not, what not. Gonna take it all with me. Lots of food, lots of animal fat, which will help me for other things. All right, we're good. We're good. We're golden. Let's go home. The loot and candy has expired, but we did all the loot and anyway. I feel like that's, I mean, if I can keep resetting that guns, uh, that shotgun messiah, like, firing range kind of place, then I'll be happy. I can keep going back there and, like, raiding that, uh, locked chest, like, the reinforced chest. But this wasn't quite as good as what I was hoping it, uh, for it to be. Bit of a letdown, if I'm completely honest. I mean, I guess, I mean, I get let down, unless it gives me, someone said this in the comment, I think I've talked about this a couple of times now, actually, that unless I get, like, tier 6 loot, tier 6 loot, or specifically the weapon that I want, I'm always unhappy with the loot. I'm always unhappy with whatever loot the gods want to give me. Nothing in either of you, that's fine. Let's quickly just go fill you up with whatever I can. You can go back to there. All right. Um... I'm not really selling anything. I'm just, I might just swap over my gogs. I'll sell some stuff another day. It's trading potato day tomorrow. So I'll be back then. Got any looting candy for me? Already checked you. No, you don't. All right, mate. All right, mate. What you got for okay, me this time? Uh, you respect yep. the shop rules, and we'll get along just fine. Is one of the shop rules not slicing your noggin off? Because God knows I want to. Oh, look at that fat yeah. neck. It's asking for a fucking sweet axe to the side of it. <gasps> First job wow. A tier six tack? Damn. This is all I can spare. Oh, that makes me really want to makes me really want to spec into bloody uh, assault rifles again. I'll take you. I'll take you and not sell you. Plus, this might give me a bonds mate level up. It didn't, but that's okay though. Oh, you have secret secret stashes now, don't you? You do. What have you got? What have you got for me this time? You've got shotgun ammo. You got shotgun auto turrets. Bonds are mate level fifty one as well. So another skill point to be spent. Do I just buy myself a shotgun turret? Like, I have an SMG turret and a shotgun turret up there. Got lots of books. Oh, bud. Oh, bud. You're tempting me. You're tempting me so bloody much. Not enough for me to buy anything, though. But I might even quickly go check uh, Old Mate on the other side of town. Let's quickly swap over my gogs and make sure that it, the other secret stash stays the same. I'll quickly go see other Old Mate see if he has something for me. Because now we've got that extra secret stash, it might be worthwhile. I'm going to do it. I've got the time. I have to do a little bit of work at night time, but that's the stupid tax I was talking about. So I'm going to go see other Trady Potato. Got the fuel for it as well, so we're laughing. Laughing all the way to the Trady Piggy Bank. What's my plan of action, though? So I need I need that other junk turret. I do. I also need to make myself a land claim block as well. I haven't got one of those over at my base yet. I only got my bed rolled. Or my or just my bed, actually. I made myself a nice comfy bed. Um, oh, I'm just... I'm trying to... Like, it's what I do on these bike rides. I try and plan out what the next step is. What I'm going to do with that base when I get back home again. There's just so many options. I don't know what the right one's going to be. The only option I don't want to like, check off my list again is collapsing the whole fucking thing again. I'm still mad at myself for that. There's a sneaky bear out here. Someone just go to the oh right in the kidneys. Can I like put you down, please? And then hopefully finish you off before you murder me. Oh, you are one big tough bastard. You got one good swipe in. Then I did manage to kill you. I want some more meat. Always want more meats. 
I don't know where I'm gonna put all this meat, but I wanted to kill you anyway for some fat and some bone and some lovely. I'm pretty sure I do have as well. Don't I have the bear challenge going on in here somewhere? I'm pretty sure I did. I'm gonna sort of buy the farm. I've killed lots of bears. Ah, uh, the man eater? No, uh, that's a different one. Okay, fair enough. Wait. Oh, kill some male zombies. Okay, fair enough. Um. Oh no, don't feed the bears. I've already done it. Alright, fair enough. Do I get to trade that in or something? Is this the third bear? I don't know. I found a piece of paper for that last time and couldn't read it. So I assume there was one still active. That's fine. If I've already done it, then I'm happy with that. Alright, bud. Let's make this quick. Don't have a whole lot of time to faff about today. Ooh, I wonder, if there's like, I don't care how expensive, if there's like a tier 6 oh, auto shotgun in this guy's day. secret stash, then I'm buying it regardless of how much it costs. I'm wearing the go wrong, I'm wearing the wrong gogs though. Swap you over. Daily. You need to go back up to your rightful spot, please. Why won't you let me? Excuse me. Why can I piss off, buddy? Get out of my bloody hot bar. Okay, I'm going to take you back again. Don't know why that was being difficult, but fair enough. Man, see your inventory. All right, what have you got? Urban Combat Volume 4. Uh, when sneaking, you always land silently unless you are taking damage and jump height is not reduced. Okay, I'll buy that one. It's just a book anyway. Always buy the books. What else you got? Oh, polymer string mod schematic. Oh, I've already got one. I only have one crossbow, so thanks, but no thanks. Not much, not much else in here though. Shotgun, oh, shotgun turret. No, because then it's going to it's gonna take away from what I, I need. SMG size. I have no use for 9mm ammo. May as well put it into turrets, but you don't have what I need there. Rather disappointing. Do you have any polymers for me, actually? I think I came out here once before. I did. You don't have that. Uh, make sure I'm not forgetting anything. No, I think we're all pretty much right as rain. Great all right. No whackers. No whackers. I'll be back tomorrow. It's trading potato day tomorrow. There's lots to do back home, though. We're going to go home and quickly fix up our base. Pour some concrete. Pour our life together. Oh man, what a day. What a what a couple of days actually. Man, I'm really living by the seat of my pants. My seat of my pants is basically not even my cushion anymore. That's right up inside me. Home sweet home, but no time to salivate or feel comfortable at all. We're gonna do this nice and quick. All right, quickly into the box. Ah, there you go. Just put all of that. I'll come back and get the rest of it in a second. Take all of you. Now I need to put the normal stuff back in there. So those ones and I'll put I'll just leave like I'll just leave eight thousand dollars in there why not I'm probably gonna need it at some point I'd rather have it in there and not need it than need it than not have it uh or you go in there too okay let's start sorting this crap out let's start figuring out what the hell we're gonna do with all that nonsense oh my god it's gonna take so much doing I've got a week to figure it out before I take on an even bigger and even badder horde Oh, there's so much to do. So much to bloody do. Got some sand on the go. I have some sand left over in there, but not particularly many. I can make some concrete, but not a whole heap. You're making some more stone for me too. You're doing things over there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to like... I've got some cobble on me still, so I might even just take that and go and build myself some support columns over there. Although I do have actually... Don't, let's, just go, let's just go straight to reinforce concrete. Let's not even faff about with flagstone anymore. I've got a little bit of it to go. It saved me in a pinch, but it's not exactly my, uh, my whatchamacallit, my material of choice. Grab all of you, stop you. I know you can make myself more stone out of that, but that'd be fine. All right, you're cracking along nicely. I think I have some, some concrete somewhere left over. Can't quite see anything in here, and there's no search bar still, so, oh well, just uh, fucking hope for it then, Josh. Uh, conc oh, I've got lots of concrete. All right. All right, I'm in. I mean, I really should actually put a hay bale right down there rather than running this risk every time or just finish the bloody sky bridge, Josh. We've been talking about it for six years. Fucking finish it already. All right, just to kind of get ahead here, I'm going to go like this and just start... No, that's the wrong one. I'm going to start uh, just like filling out the rest of this area like that. This is all going to have to be nice and strong anyway, so I may as well just get that rocking and rolling. Let's get rid of you because you're worthless to me now. Get rid of you too because you're also worthless to me now. Um, yep, yeah, all the way, all the way out to there. That will be fine. I could even, like, consider this along the front here, so it's all nice and solid. I probably will, actually. I can't, I can't risk cutting corners anymore. I have to do this by the book and over-engineer this as much as possible, or else I'm going to die again uh, sooner rather than later. I've got rebar frames coming out of my orifices. May as well use them. Yep, there you go. That'll be nice. Still, like, kind of protecting the area where I'm going to drop down to. That's what I could even do. Let's just, let's just do this. Let's just make this one big solid column because why bloody not? I don't want to be jumping out of there, bailing out of a sinking ship, hoping for safety and landing on hay bales, only to find a bunch of zombies down here ready and waiting for me. That would be a really bad bloody day. I'm going to need so much more concrete, but at some point this is all going to come together and I'm going to be laughing and hopefully not collapsing.
Boy, a thousand concrete doesn't go nearly as far as it used to. Hey, but it is enough for me to get that nice little ring of reinforced concrete down there ready for future construction. That will be nice. I got some cobble on me. That will be good. Um, what I should do, actually, I should save what concrete I have and try and upgrade these. These need to be strong because as you saw in the hall night last night, if these little like arms break, then I'm cooked. They go around the other way. I have a redundancy, but it's not exactly foolproof. So if I can upgrade all of these all the way along, I've got plenty of cobblestone left over, so I should have plenty to go. Get you nice and upgraded as well. All of this needs to be upgraded. All of this. I'm not cutting corners anymore. This is all going to be either bloody guy cobblestone or concrete. Or at some point, either concrete or reinforced concrete or steel. We're going to the houses. We're building a bloody mountain over here. This is going to be man-made instead. Make sure all of this is concrete. How much have I got left? I've got not a lot of concrete. So let's go these ones. Oh, actually, before I do... I can't put anything in it. That's all supported anyway. I'll quickly break this one down and replace that with the right angle as well. That angular block actually worked out super duper well. Super happy with how that planned out. So I'm going to do the same one again. Go here. Go shapes. The limited shapes that you can with the rebar frames. It's going to work anyway. Uh, go like this. Spin it around so I get the right shape, please. Almost. Almost. You're so close. You can feel it. You can touch it. You can smell it. There you go. That one there. Okay. And we're going to go boom. Straight up to reinforced concrete. Why not? The rest of it will follow suit later. This all needs to be as oh, strong as possible, though. That was a weird sound, Josh. There we go. All the way along. Enough for the last one. Yes, we do. Lovely, lovely. Okay. At least now, the entryway for the zombies is strong enough to withstand it. The rest of it can, come, can follow on later. But for now, that's going to do the job. I can upgrade, what, like four more blocks or maybe two more blocks? What do I want to do? What wants to be concrete? What wants to be nice and strong? I don't even know. Nothing's really jumping out at me. It's been super critical. I might have to start just upgrading random stuff in the hope that it's going to make a difference later on. It's going to continue, like, building supports off of this to kind of keep all, like, the fringes up there nice and happy. Like that. That should be good. Uh, I mean, this wall down the bottom will keep the zombies away, I suppose. What I could actually do... Can I pick these up? I can pick these up. Of course, I can. They're bloody hay bales. We know that from lots of previous adventures. What I might actually do is just build this up to be a platform at that height. Sacrifice a wood frame to the greater good. Uh, because if I can put the wood frames, uh, or the wood frames, the, um, the hay bales just there, then I can kind of start at this level and then jump out a door or something here and continue on my merry way. That might be a good way to go about it. Let's just uh, go like that. It's got some more cobble. Let's make myself some more flagstone. Only like five more, I think, should be enough. Five. One, two, three. In fact, I don't really need that many. Two, three. Thank you. Oh, it was four. All right, whatever. Go like that. Actually, you know what? No. Nah. Let's let's keep on going. Let's just fill up the bottom down there because I'm going to need to put those hay bales against something. But this is going to be like a little landing zone here. Like that and like that and like that. That'll do nicely. Hay bales. Not as many as before, but that's okay. They'll sit nicely in the ground. That'll be fine. All right, that's looking slightly better. The concrete's starting to set up there, which is good. I need to finish off this wall here first. I don't want them like falling down and getting stuck on here, then wailing on the pillar there. That would be a really bad time. I need to quickly go and make... I thought I heard something. No, nope, it's just my mind playing tricks on me. That's fair enough. I need to quickly go and make myself some more flagstone blocks to finish off that sky bridge. Hopefully tomorrow morning. In fact, you know what? I'm going to make it official. We don't need the turrets anymore. We're going to change that. This one here to be sky bridge. So I know to do that tomorrow. Horde base needs to be done. Uh, I can't quite make the next turret, I don't think. I need steel to do it. I think I need 45. How far am I away from making another load of steel? Can we put some fuel into there? Boom, we've got another 10 in there. I have no iron. Okay, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need another sign. I'm gonna need another sign. I need a bigger to-do list. I need lots of things to be done. I need to meet, uh, need myself to actually pull my finger out and get it done though. Okay, so I have Skybridge, Horde Base, Iron Mining, and Concrete. I did bring back some iron with me, though, I think, somewhere. Let's quickly scan. Three. I brought three iron with me. I could have sworn I had more. Please tell me that's like the, the new stack after I filled up a completely different stack. Uh, are you out here, even? Maybe. That should be better. There, there we go. 165. It's not much, but it'll be hopefully be enough to get some more steel blocks. Let's put you into there. Swap you over like that. There you go. Turn you on. Um... What do I need? I needed like 45, I think, for a new turret. Robotic turret, SMG turrets. 45. I did need that many. I have 41. So I need four more, if you don't mind. Can you make me four? How much am I going to need for four? I need so many for four. All right, you keep burning the way. That'll be fine. I'll get the rest of the stuff ready. 
I've got everything there. All I need is four more bits of steel. Can I make four, please? Yes, you can. Perfect. Okay, 33 seconds. Oh, man, I'm, I'm so low on iron. I need to do the iron mining first. The concrete needs to happen. In fact, that's already there. Materials, grab a thousand. Grab you, grab you and you. Another thousand concrete, please. There we go. Get that kraken. Oh, man. Base production stuff is just so tedious and scary. Plus, every moment I do this, I'm a little bit closer to calling in a screamer, which is going to be no bueno. It's now into day 37, though, so we're really starting to push it. I just want to get that turret on the craft. I want to get that started. Four more seconds. Come on, baby. Hit me with your best shot. Up. Ah, there you go. Lovely. Turrets. Turret. SMG auto turret. Boom. Okay, that's going to make it so much better. Two turrets up there facing either way. It's going to cover all the angles. be so much better. Plus, a roof would go a long way as well. It'll be a bit claustrophobic over there. But that'll be okay with the extra room moving backwards. Or if I can just like build the roof a little bit higher. That'll be lovely and doubly. But I'll have to go and continue building that horde base. And try not to get myself outwardly and obviously killed in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to all the patrons on Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.